you want to learn about hard and clay soil, I'll be uh, discussing it right now and uh, showing you how successful we were in this case with a plumbago that was planted just two years ago. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Chip and I plan to be doing a lot more uh, videos for you. If you like them, please click on like and click on subscribe and click on the bell so that you'll be notified every Sunday when we uh, post our new videos. So the synthesis of this video was uh, prompted by a YouTube fan of ours who uh, lives in Canada and he sent us a message saying he bought our product in the United States and then he attempted to take it home to Canada and he wasn't allowed to take it because it's not registered there. So his question to me was, I can't use your product but what can I do for hard uh, soil and clay soil? that's going to make it much better and that will make my uh, gardening successful. First one is some kind of high quality humic acid product. This is a granular humic acid product and humic acid is usually a mined product and usually linardite is used for humic acid because it's the least expensive so a granular, a high quality uh, granular linardite is what we use in our products. And what this is, is really thousands of years of decomposition of organic matter. What we want is a humic acid with lots of organic compounds in it. And not only humic acid, it has all kinds of other organic compounds. And what those do is what um, organic matter does in soil, but in a concentrated way. It collects food basically for, uh, for microbes in the soil to eat. It coats all the soil particles so that it creates space in between these clay particles so you have a better exchange of air and water. So we uh, found our favorite humic acid product is Agra Plus. Uh, Horizon Ag is the manufacturer and what constitutes high quality humic acid products is one that tests high in organic compounds. So this one tests at about 88-89% organic compounds. 40% uh, of that is humic, about 11-12% is fulvic acid, and then there's all kinds of other acids and organic compounds. So in addition to granular humic acid, you can use liquid humic acid, and we use the same brand. It, it engages faster and it and it starts working a little faster, the, but the uh, dry one is more powerful in, in small amounts and works over a long term, which is beneficial, then you don't have to keep applying it. And then you can supplement that with the liquid one. The most powerful beneficial fungi that really is talked about a lot, if you read about gardening, you'll see it mentioned a lot, is mycorrhiza. And mycorrhiza is a, is a beneficial fungi that attaches itself to roots. What it does is it allows the plant, it changes everything about the soil and the plant allows it to take up nutrients better, allows the roots to be much more aggressive and, and healthy. And uh, essentially, the, the beneficial fungi mycorrhiza does everything that plants need to uh, improve the vitality, the pest and disease resistance, and is one of the you can see how small it is and how light it is, so it's one of the real concentrated ways to change soil dramatically. If you can start growing things in your soil and then getting the mycorrhiza to attach to the roots, that's going to change your soil faster than any other thing. The, the, the plant is like uh, the engine and then um, this is the lubricant, the oil, the gasoline and everything, and it, it attaches itself to roots. So that's gives you a, a hint of how you need to use it. You need to use it uh, in a way to get the most for your money where you can get it close to the root zone. And also, if it just sits on top of the ground, it tends to become um, inert after time. So what you want is to try to either cover it with mulch or, or, uh, or water it in right away or bury it a little bit, put it next to root zones. One of the most powerful additions you can do is earthworm castings. 
Um, we are being very elegant by calling them earthworm castings, but uh, that's actually earthworm poop, uh, which is uh, a concentrated uh, compost is really what it is. And you hear lots of great things about compost. Earthworm castings are actually even more powerful and you can do it without huge quantities of it. And uh, so it has all kinds of beneficial life in it, uh, beneficial fungi, bacteria, good protozoa. And then it has food for that life. And my favorite brand is uh, Worm Gold Plus, and it's an organic or earthworm casting. This is the only product we don't use in our John and Bob's line, uh, but we use something similar in a, a real high uh, quality concentrated um, organic uh, compost that's in the Maximize. But uh, if we didn't use that product, this would be an excellent substitute. Just use earthworm castings and you don't need to till it in or anything. I would just always be applying small amounts over the top and in the process of doing your gardening, um, you'll create a much different kinds of kind of soil. When you add minerals to soil, that's kind of like turning a light switch on in terms of immediately boosting um, soil life. And that's really the point of all of this, is we want to get that soil life active. And an excellent way to do that is with something with every mineral in the periodic table. One that's uh, popular and that is very available online is called azomite. Azomite is an excellent product and it essentially is from an old lava deposit. Uh, we used to use uh, azomite in our uh, Maximize. Uh, we changed uh, to Cascade Minerals, which is kind of a competing brand. Azomite is much more available on a retail basis. So azomite or some other mineralization product, uh, frequently the best source is some type of ground up basalt or lava deposit. And um, that's an important part of all these other ingredients where we're trying to infuse the soil with life and change its uh, texture and uh, tilth. Our next ingredient that does wonders for soil and wonders for plants is uh, dried seaweed. Dried seaweed is, is kelp used in gardening and then they take that dry powder and, and make a liquid out of it. You can use the dry powder or you can use a liquid version of kelp. But kelp uh, basically does everything, almost everything that all these other products do combined in that it changes uh, soil, it uh, feeds plants, it has nutrients in it, that, and it helps with the uptake of plants. It's an organic way to discourage pest and disease and change soil for the better. So it's a very positive organic compound that changes everything about soil, brings life to the soil, and uh, improves the porosity of the soil and the drainage in the soil. Look at the reviews, make sure it's organic, and, um, and you can get a good um, kelp from Amazon or some other source online. What you want to do while you're changing your soil in order to maximize the performance of your plants is to feed them with some kind of organic fertilizer. And the reason you want to use organic fertilizer is you don't want to undo what you're trying to do. If you use a synthetic fertilizer like miracle Grow or one of those fertilizers that has a lot of salt in it, it actually damages soil life. So we would prefer to use something that encourages soil life and feeds plants at the same time. A real common source that we use in one of our products is essentially chicken waste and that's called a chicken based fertilizer and a chicken based fertilizer is organic and has lots of macronutrients in it and is food for life in the soil. The best uh, organic fertilizer I've ever used is the one that we call Nourish Biosol and it, one of the unique things about it is um, it's actually from a plant source. And so when you look online and try to find an organic fertilizer that has a good amount of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, almost all of them are not plant-based. Plant but Nourish Biosol is from the bloom of um, cultured soybean meal and cottonseed meal. So it's a plant-based form of macronutrients and it has micronutrients. So that's an excellent organic fertilizer.
but there are other good ones. The main part of this message to you is don't use all of these great products that are going to build life in your soil and then use something that will damage the life. So what we do is we take all of those interesting and powerful products and we make products that we will use on plants like this uh, imperial blue plumbago behind me which grew like crazy quickly for good reason because it's got all of these soil enhancers, plant enhancers in it. Uh, we put them in uh, special mixes and uh, we use them in landscapes and, um, and in vegetable gardens and fruit trees and everything that you can use in your own garden. Hey there friends, thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on the bell. Want to learn more about our products? Then head over to our website, www.johnandbobs.com.